Hey everybody. So since last spring's community conversations, we've worked very hard as a district to follow through on the priorities that were set there, specifically how we're going to build and grow in those directions. And you've seen me use these graphics that are representing these priorities to talk about what we're doing. Now, because we want to make this part of the fabric of how we do business, the same group that helped us get together and design those community conversations came back together over the summer and into the fall to help us set up now a strategic plan that takes all of the, those priorities and then organizes them into what we call pillars that help us address how we're going forward. A quick overview of these pillars, which are the main emphasis areas for our district, are as follows. In pillar number one, we focus on preparing for the future which means holding and raising high academic expectations while developing student life and career readiness. In pillar number two, we focus on supporting our students' personal growth and well-being while expecting and putting systems in place that hold high behavioral expectations while at the same time developing social emotional skills to help them be ready for life. In pillar number three, we emphasize connecting with the community in not only sharing what's happening in the district, but celebrating so we can learn together and grow together. Pillar number four is an emphasis on supporting our district workforce so that we can attract and retain exceptional team members and work together to get the job done. And pillar number five is operational excellence. This touches on all things that deal with financial sustainability and making sure that we're in good shape heading into the future. So in coming days, we'll share out more details about this strategic plan specifically how it directs and give focus to what we do here in Nakusa. But for right now, we want to just share that we are so grateful for the gift of priorities, for the gift of understanding how we want to, we can move forward together. And stay tuned. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. So right now I'm coming to you from one of the tech ed rooms at Alexander Middle School where we teach tech ed to students in grades six, seven, and eight. Behind me, you see a new upgrade we have this year based on funds from our last referendum combined with various grants we've received. We now have 20 3D printers for our students to use and learn with day by day as they're here. Now, our students having this kind of access to 3D printers, especially at young ages, is rare in the state of Wisconsin, if not the United States, and people are starting to notice. I'm Melissa Kay with WFHR Radio Station, and I find this fascinating, what Mr. Benjamin Peters is doing here at Nakusa Middle School. Um, I think that this will be an enchanting thing for our listeners to hear about, as these young kids are learning 3D printing from sixth grade on where people from my generation and, and older have had very little experience with 3D printers. This show is going to come out hopefully uh, sometime in November. We'll start airing on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This particular show will be Community Stories Junior. It'll air on Thursdays from 5 to 6 p.m. on WFHR 97.5 FM, 1320 AM. Now we'll finish up this month's update with a huge celebration. Lynn Knight, our district school business manager, has just been elected as ASBOs, or the Association of School Business Officials, International Vice President. That means that Lynn is going forth not just on the national stage, but on the international stage to go ahead and advocate for school reform, for budget reform, for something that makes sense. And specifically, she ran on a platform of making sure that we can represent rural schools. Now, this means that people are going to be hearing the name of Nakusa and seeing what's happening in our district all around the world. We certainly appreciate the work that Lynn's put herself out there to not just represent our district, but really be an integral part of how we do business. Congratulations, Lynn. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions about anything we covered in this video or just comments about anything overall, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. All right, you take care.